Evening everybody. I'm going to do a pattern test today. Well, a few actually. I have the, uh, the new quad system. And uh, we're not going to show you the patterns. I know there's been a few uh, pattern tests online so far that uh, has put the quad seal right at the very top with another well-known brand. But what I want to show is the heating power of this pellet. Great to have a great pattern, which it has, which has already been done independently by somebody online. But what I'm more interested in, even more than the pattern itself, is the actual power, the heating power downrange. And this pattern plate of mine uh, weighs nearly half a ton. And this is what I like about it. I'll just show you that it doesn't move anywhere. It can't move because it weighs that much. Just before we do this, I'll, this is the new um, literature on the quad seal. And if we can just start with what they're saying is increased striking energy, which is you know what I'm looking for, increased striking energy. And everybody that shoots uh, pheasant or partridge, they're interested in, in killing that quarry outright. The unique four ring design, which is one, two, three, four, that's, that's all sealing the gases in, which ultimately is making this gas seal a lot more efficient than, than, than plastic itself. We've got improved ballistic consistency. As you know, uh, the, the, the fibre wads, the true fibre wads, uh, they vary um, in power. But then we go to reduce recoil. Because it's a good uh, seal, they're using a little bit less powder, so the benefit is, is less recoil. And then biodegradability. Well, I've already tested it. I've been testing these for three or four months now uh, on the clay ground. And then uh, uh, I tested them for a good three or four weeks uh, on the last part of the season last year. And at one of the most stringent uh, estates, Water Priory, you can't get nothing by them. It's got to be biodegradable, it's got to be fibre, or it's got to melt away. And these things, within three or four weeks, they informed me that uh, they were turning into a mush and then they, they couldn't actually see them in uh, four or five weeks time. They'd more or less vanished. So we've got everything. We've got biodegradable ability, tongue green tied up a bit, and we've got eating power, which I'm going to show you now. And we've still got a great pattern. And sometimes when you've got the eating power that these cases have got, and the, it, even with plastic wads, you do compensate with pattern. But this is not so with this thing, it's with this uh, new system. It's, um, it seems to, it's got the benefit of both hitting power and a good pattern. So we'll put it to the test. Right, we're at our normal uh, testing uh, distance. Uh, I know some of them have been tested at 30 yards, but we're well beyond that, ne nearly twice that anyway. And uh, we're going to put the 32 gram four in first. And what we're doing, we're trying them through this new Teague 7 8 extreme choke. Now, if you see, there's like a recess in them, and that al almost feels like a bloody skeet so far down, but it is nearly a a full choke further down, so it's it's an oddment, but uh, I've had good reports from Simon War that he's shot some good birds with these, so we're going to try this. And then I'm going to switch to a three-quarter choke then. That's the 32 gram four, and uh, as you can see, they're smoking. That's the power behind them when they've hit the pattern, when they've hit the pattern plate. That's the power that they're generating. That that's actually lead dust, and uh, just tell me one thing: that whatever they eat, they'll kill. They are a really powerful uh, pellet. It's actually ripped the cardboard at the back as well, but that's what's left of the pellets. Nothing. If you look at the size of that, um, a lot of it's just shattered, just dust. 
pieces just blowing them apart, apart altogether. Really pleased to see that. Fantastic job. Nice even pattern and uh, same again, smoke again, absolute devastation, no messing about there. The, the, the shock on these pellets will be unreal, there's nothing going to survive those. We'll just have a look at the pellets off that again just to make sure that that's doing its job. Let's see. That's like dust, it's just what I call shit rags, pancake, nothing left of it at all. Quicker for me to uh, to just switch guns. I've switched guns with uh, with three quarter choke already in it, and we'll start off with the uh, the 34 gram uh, four. And the power's there through the three quarter. I don't think. Uh, the choke makes much difference, um, it's a personal choice and I think you've got sometimes fit uh, the choke to your cartridge, I think there's a lot to be said for that. But I've always been happy with three quart and full. And that's a nice killing pattern and uh, the devastation's there again, it's everything's, every pellet's is smoking at the back of that. You can see the dust on my, on my fingers there but and nothing left of those, exactly the same result as the, the 32 gram four. We're gonna do all that next with the three quarter choke. Back to the 32 gram four, through the three quarter choke. Just a, a variation in choke, just wanna see if, if anything's different. I'll just say something about the, uh, the uh, recoil. That's very, very reasonable recoil. I mean, there's a notable I just shot a pigeon about 50 yards away with the, the 32 gram four, so you can see that they don't mess about. Well, just as I suspected, you can hear, probably hear the, the bits dropping, and it is just bits. And I did, I did shoot a little bit high with that, but I did, although I shot high, the pattern is high and the pattern's still dense. So there's nothing wrong with those. Anything that any of them pellets touch is finished. So if anybody wants to inquire about these, then just ring Game Board, Game Board headquarters. I'm sure they'll be able to advise on the shops that are stocking them now. But my advice is ring ASAP because they are selling up pretty quick now and that's without you know any serious advertising with them. Thank you and we'll catch you next time.